Hello, this is Deepin 15.3. As you can see, I've changed my desktop around. I've moved the launcher bar on the bottom to the top and made it a panel. I have my programs I want to run up on the left hand side. And over here I have a system tray basically. And I have some space in the middle for more expansion. And that's very easily done just by simply clicking here to right click. And I can change the mode from fashion to efficient. And I like the efficient mode a lot more because it reminds me of my beloved XFCE desktop. Now the one thing I lack in doing this, oh and I can change the position just by location, size, and status, whether it stays hidden, shown all the time, or as a smart hide. Now one of the things I do miss is the widgets or applets or plugins or whatever you want to call them that would give me inf more information up on the panel and to circumvent that what I've had to do is install a Conky. Now Conky is easily installed you simply go to your software package manager which is the deep in store and you search for Conky manager you don't want Conky itself because there's too much programming involved I guess it's not really programming but uh, coding but you want to install Conky manager and once you have that installed, it's a simple choice just to pick the widget you want to have shown on your desktop. And then from here you can adjust using the preferences and settings how you want to place it. And I put it, I made it opaque and I put it in the mid right. Very easily done. Now you can go on the internet and download themes. And there are some really fancy themes on the internet. And I will probably do that in the future because I want to get the temperature of my CPU down here too, which I don't have. So that's Conky Manager. Now the next thing I wanted to show in deep in 15.3 is when you go to upgrade your system, you do that through the system information bar and you can change your mirrors simply by clicking on the update and then the uh, gear icon. Auto check mirrors and you can click switch and I've noticed sometimes my mirrors are just in really really poor shape and sometimes they're really really strong uh, this critical mirror one has been fast lately but it started out medium my favorite mirror James Madison is just non-existent and uh, even this Russian mirror it's always listed as fast, but I can't download from it for whatever reason. Now, the people at Deepin know that the, the mirrors and updatings are a problem, and they are working at, at improving it. But I did want to mention it. Sometimes updating can be a, a, a painful process. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was simply that uh, Deepin comes with, instead of having wine install now wine is not an emulator it lets you run microsoft windows programs in a linux environment and uh, it has crossover and crossover is the for fee software program that wine is based off of basically and they're uh, both heavily developed by code weavers so Code Weavers, I think, spends close to three quarters of their of all development uh, that's done in Wine is done by Code Weavers programmers. And I've gone ahead, I've installed Steam on this, and it works very well. And I've actually gotten up uh, Call of Duty and played it on this machine. And this machine is no screamer. It's a uh, quad core phenom. CPU at, at 2.1 gigahertz and it uh, runs a, uh, a lowly 20 no it has a good half decent graphics card it's got a 660 Nvidia graphics card in it so uh, I just thought I would mention that because I, I find that to be very interesting and this is normally a, a 30 to 40 dollar per software program now it has bottles and bottles is merely lets you pick and choose which Microsoft uh, version of Windows you want to use, whether it be XP or Vista or 7 or 10, 8. So there, that's crossover.
Very interesting. And I'll have show a little bit more on that in a future update. All right. So that's Deepin 15.3. Very nice. Very interesting. And the addition of crossover makes it a very unique distribution. Thanks for watching.